Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're going to get a few calls from my Leos, okay? So please like this video if it resonates at all. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to check out my TikTok. The link is down below in the description box. Let's get a few cards from my Leos, okay? Alright. <clears throat> so the first card I'm seeing is 222. You could go on the right path, all right? Some of y'all could be seeing two, two, two. I'm seeing property damage. So somebody could have damaged someone's property or someone's property could be damaged in some type of way. Um, mad because they can't deny you're gifted. So some of y'all could be very gifted, very talented in whatever you do, all right? And somebody can't deny your gifts, but they've been trying to downplay your gifts. Something could be holding you back, all right? and the truth is being revealed so something is being exposed so some of y'all could be getting clarity on a few things also someone is wanting your attention or you could be wanting another person's attention put it where it fits for you and it says your family is involved if not your family it could be his family but somebody's family members is involved in this situation I'm seeing hired a spiritual practitioner on you. So somebody could definitely be a spiritual practitioner or a tarot reader or something like that. But somebody here is gifted and somebody was trying to deny someone's gifts. They haven't learned their lesson. So somebody's still trying to do something against you in some type of way because they haven't learned their lesson. Um, and they still trying to do it seeing cousin competition so definitely watch out for your cousin okay be careful with your family members you do have that card talking about your family is involved we got 1010 10, focus on your spiritual growth so some of y'all could be seeing 1010 10, but when this card comes out somebody is into their spirituality somebody is getting a deeper knowledge within spiritual practices in some type of way We got getting their life together, which is good. That's what you could be doing. Write down your feelings so somebody could be a bit emotional, but it's good to write them down. And we got technology interference. So somebody could be trying to fuck up somebody's cell phone, social media, computer, something like that. But there's some type of technology interference. They can't lie on you no more. So somebody keeps trying to lie on another person here, trying to make them look bad or stop something that's coming towards them in some type of way, but they can't do it no more. But remember, these people haven't learned a lesson. I said people, so it could be multiple people who were lying on someone here. You could be an attractive nerd, so very intelligent, very knowledgeable, also sexy as fuck, okay? And someone could be emotionally imbalanced at this time. Remember to write out your feelings if you are the one that's very emotional. My baby mama don't like you. So somebody got baby mama issues and some of the baby mama don't like you too much or something. Alright. Someone here is feeling foolish. And someone needs a place to stay. So somebody could be relocating or moving or something like that. Don't let me go. A honest and intense conversation is coming up, all right? So they want to talk to you about something. I didn't want it to be like this. So something happened where they didn't want it to turn out that way. And somebody could be feeling regretful and foolish because they could have been listening to lies, but it says they can't lie on you no more. It's time to create. So some of y'all could be creating something new or about to create something new. And someone did you dirty. I want to be your friend. Forgive me. So this has something to do with mutual friends here. Now, I was saying people, so it could have been a group of people. Could have been listening to some type of lies about someone here. But they actually, somebody in the group actually wants to be your friend. But they also know about what was being said behind your back. Okay? You keep healing and leveling up. How the fuck did you know that? So some of y'all knew something, mentioned something, posted something, and people are like, how did you know that? Yeah, someone made some bad choices and they could be receiving bad karma or about to. 
something about someone's Snapchat pictures. Somebody's watching a person's Snapchat pictures. And you could be reaching a milestone or someone around you is reaching a milestone. Upgrade. Okay, then. Somebody's having a reality check at this time. Something is being revealed. You got truth being revealed. Somebody's seeing things clearly now. You got cold as fuck. Somebody could be acting cold as fuck, trying to protect their energy in some type of way. I'm seeing fire energy. So an Aries Leo Sag could have something to do with this situation. It says, I need you to be totally honest with me. Because there is an honest and intense conversation coming up. Somebody definitely wants to know the truth. My, my friends don't like you. We was seeing that you know somebody mutually, some type of friend group, and there's a lot being said or done behind your back in some type of way. We have a secret love affair. And someone could be apartment hunting at this time. It's some type of third party shit going on, so somebody could definitely put you in a third party situation. It could have been cheating. And someone was getting advice from a friend. You awaken every soul around you. So somebody's definitely a star seed, a light worker, a healer um, of some sort. And they wishing things were different. Something did not turn out the way they wanted to. It says you help others become their best selves. Again, somebody's a star seed, a light worker, a healer of some sort. Surround yourself with people who want to see you win. So some of y'all does not do not have people, supportive people who want to see you win. Some of y'all got haters around you, okay? We got building a house. Somebody can move, move and relocate and looking for somewhere to stay, something like that. And you need to cut them soul ties, all right? You got some type of soul ties with certain people who's actually just sucking your blood, all right? Like energy vampires. Cut them soul ties. Wipe your tears. He still loves you. So somebody could be worried that their person don't love them. We do got do, don't let me go right here. Something about a kid's party. And an apology is coming. Someone could be going crystal shopping or needs to go crystal shopping. Starting to see people for who they really are. Yeah, somebody is having a reality check. The truth is being revealed. Reaching out after going ghost. Someone could be having back pain. And say he's stressing over you. I'm not trying to hurt you. I want to heal you. Someone could be having financial issues. And you're about to get some type of social recognition. Or is getting social recognition. But there's someone fantasizing about you. <clears throat> now I'm seeing water energy. So a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be involved in this situation. You have the ability to heal the masses. Again, somebody's a star seed, a light worker, or a healer. Someone is switching sides because they're having a reality check because somebody was lying on another person. Trying to make up for past mistakes. They're feeling foolish and regretful. Someone is trying to reach you. Return to sender. So somebody was throwing negative energy at you in some type of way, but return to sender. You have the most beautiful eyes. Someone needs to see a psychologist. Hot tea. Somebody could be drinking hot tea or needs to drink hot tea. Somebody could definitely be sick or was sick. She needs a favor. So there's a female energy who needs a favor. And intense ancestral in initiation. Someone's definitely into their spirituality here. Whether it's you or someone around you, okay? So put it wherever it fits for you. Also know if this is not happening directly to you, it could be happening to your person or somebody around you. So put it wherever it fits for you, okay? I could be saying he. When really it could be a she. So flip it and reverse it how need be. Hmm. 
soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my Leos is... We got a wall spirit. It says sometimes life stings. So somebody could be hurt. Somebody could be upset about a situation or how a situation ended up here. Okay. But somebody could definitely be pain within this. And in, in pain within this. Okay. Yeah. But spirit wants you to let go of the situation. All right. Groundhog spirit. It's time to let go. Let go so you can heal at this time. Please have a few thoughts from my Leos. It says you see clearly now. Okay. I think this card also came out for the Scorpio. So definitely check out Scorpio reading as well. There could be some type of connection here. But you see clearly now someone is having a reality check. Okay. You could also be seeing people true colors or what's really going on at this time. All right. Because things are being revealed. And you need to watch and wait. So there's something else that you're about to see too. So things are unfolding at this time. Okay. Let's see. As soon as I open up the deck, the energy for my... um, Who I'm doing? Leo's is... North Node. This is good. Also known as your North Star and your Destiny. It points the way towards our fate and life purpose that we are meant to move towards in this lifetime. You're going the right way. That's why you had that car 222 on the right path. So whatever's going on right now, just chill, let shit flow, let shit happen because it's supposed to be happening. Okay? On the other side, we got Pandora's box though. It says the evils of the world and temptations that we can't resist because of curiosity. So just chill, mind your business, let shit flow. Some shit you don't want to open or deal with. So somebody fucking with some shit they ain't had no business. Just make sure it's not you. Just chill, okay? Let go whatever situation was going on, all right? And continue to uh, stay on the right path because you are cards for my and don't let nobody drag you into no shit okay because somebody might because it just popped up in my head you might not be the one fucking with the pandora's box it could be somebody around you trying to involve you in something or tell you about something but you ain't got shit to do with it <laughs> all right keep your hands out buddy shit let me please have a few cards for my leo's all right, we got Indigo Child. It says, you came into this world destined to create change and spiritual enlightenment. Somebody into their spirituality. You also possess unusual supernatural abilities. This card came out for my Aquariuses, and I also think the Capricorn. So definitely check out them readings as well. There could be some type of connection. We also have Dream Catcher. It says, the spirit world sends us messages in our sleep, and Dream Catcher sort the messages out by trapping nightmares in their webs, so nothing will disturb you in your dream state. Look, with these two cards coming out, okay, purple, we already know, connects to your spirituality type shit, okay? We already know somebody going to hire um, spiritual practitioners and stuff like that, and we've seen 1010 as well. But somebody could definitely have supernatural abilities to walk through dreams here as well or astral projection in some type of way that could also be telepathic communication going on here all right so definitely pay attention to your dreams you could be getting messages within your dreams here from someone can i please have another card from my leo's spirit all right we got sexual healer it says you can use your sexual energy to heal inner trauma and emotional pain okay Yes, um, healing, sexual healing is another form of healing, okay? There's multiple forms of healing someone. We got Bibliomancy. It says, open a book of truth, close your eyes, then turn to a random page and point your finger where you feel guided to. All right, some of y'all could be wanting answers about something. This would be a good way to figure them out or get more information about a certain subject, especially within spirituality. You know, pick a, a book of choice, all right? At the bottom of the deck, summon. It means to call for the presence of someone. So that's what I was saying. That's what I was trying to say. Somebody could definitely be calling for you, especially within dream state. All right. But there's definitely some type of astral projection or, uh, or summoning going on. Okay. 
whether it's a lover or a friend, somebody summoning. As soon as I open up the deck, the star and Aquarius could have something to do with this situation. But um, somebody's giving out star energy. Somebody could be successful, getting a lot of attention and stuff at this time. And there's somebody that's definitely wanting to give to you. All right, whether it's money, whether it's a gift, something, but they do want to come give to you. They want to give you something. Can I please have a few cards from my Leo spirit? All right, so we got a somebody's holding in some type of secrets. Also, it'll be a good time for you to save some money at this time, okay? With this King of Wands, it could be an Aries Leo Sag. We did see fire energy. And then we got the Knight of Wands here. So some, some of y'all could have been dealing with someone who was hot and cold, in and out, a bit of a playboy in some type of way, and very inconsistent. But this person is growing. We go from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. So this person is trying to level up for you in some type of way here. But they do feel like you are a bit of a challenge, okay? The okay, and somebody could have definitely been um disabled or ill or sick at one point in time as well. But you're about to be victorious, okay? Somebody's definitely be, about to be very successful. Somebody wants to be on their way towards you as well. I'm seeing protection. Somebody's protected. Somebody could have been down, but they got protection. Got these dogs here, you see. Somebody could be trying to protect another person. That's what I'm saying. You got the king, knight of wands, king of wands. Something that you're doing, something that you're saying at this time is making somebody grow. And they definitely watching you, even if they try to act like they're not. All right? Let me see. Somebody could have been in the streets, too. Somebody could have been dealing with someone who be in the streets. Two, that's for some of y'all, Okay? As soon as I open up the deck, the energy from my Leos is, I'm shocked about what I saw on your social media. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody's being watched. They acting like they're not watching you, but they are watching you, okay? It says, when I hurt you, I hurt myself. They feel like it's a challenge, though, because in some type of way, they neglected you or something like that, all right? Hurt you in some type of way, but they definitely regretful for it and feeling foolish for it. And somebody was listening to some type of lies. Oh, it's from my Leos, spirit. from my Leos. I talk about you, but he defends you. So we did see third-party shit and stuff like that. This person put you in a third-party situation, and the other person that they was dealing with knows about you in some type of way, okay? They could have been talking shit about you to him, but your person is defending you. I don't care what people have to say, which means other people are talking about y'all situation that you got going on, but your person don't care what people have to say, but do know other people's opinions is involved. They are going to make it hard for us to be together. So that's what they're trying to do. Make it hard for y'all. They could be leaving one situation and trying to come to you. I'm trying to leave them. So somebody's trying to leave a relationship or connection in some type of way because they want to come and be with you. My heart cries out for you. So they're definitely very emotional. We did see emotional um, imbalance. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. As soon as I open up the deck to Angie for my Leos, they all knew about it. So, they all knew about it is um, hinting towards a group of people. All right? So, as I was saying, I made a mistake to say people earlier. So, I know that it was more than one person involved. They all knew about some shit going on behind your back. All right? Somebody was trying to sabotage another person behind their back here. Okay? And somebody didn't tell you, but they want to be your friends. I wouldn't trust that person. If you are a true friend and they know about some shit going on behind your back that could possibly hurt you in some type of way, that ain't no real friend. You can't trust that motherfucker. Okay? So, yeah. You think you're better than me, don't you? Which means that someone is in competition with you. Now, remember, we did see cousin competition because it could be your own family members. They wanting your victory to be theirs. Cards oh, from my Leos. You're catching the attention of so many people around you. As I was saying, y'all, some of y'all are coming out as the star. Getting a lot of success, recognition, and attention. All right? For my Leos. 
at this cup. Look at this. Look at this shit. We are cousins, but I talk shit about you. All we do is argue. Some of y'all cousins could be arguing with maybe a lover of yours or like somebody that you used to know or deal with in some type of way over you. It's weird, okay? They all knew about it came out again. Karmic sister. So somebody's own sister could know about some shit too. Or be involved in some shit. Damn. If it's not your sister, it could be his sister. Okay, but somebody family members is heavily involved. You think I'm over you, but that's not true. Because somebody acting nice and like they ain't studying their person, but they watching them. And they break down over the stuff you post on social media. They watching them. They watching you. Somebody been constantly getting readings but not taking the advice. So somebody's definitely a tarot reader involved, stuck with the karmic knowing they can't be with you. So we did see I'm trying to leave them over here and they gonna make it hard for us to be together and I talk about you but he defends you. I'm also seeing you ain't getting away with shit, which means that somebody did some foul shit and they tried to get away with it in some type of way. Let's get a few more calls up out of here real quick for my Leos. They fantasizing about you being their wife and somebody could live a lavish lifestyle or live nicely, period. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, it said, I don't know if you want me for my money. So someone is having financial issues and then another person could be worried about someone wanting their money instead of actually loving them. There's some type of painful memories here that needs to be healed. Also, somebody could be trying to get help with they call. And it's yeah, helping with someone with the call. I'm in love with you, and I don't care who knows anymore. And this person is horny and thinking about you. Marriage in the future, okay? So please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.